Retail Store Maglog Kit. Don't forget to always isolate your connections with electrical tape or wire nuts. First, cut off the end of the power supply wire. On the transformer, identify the positive and negative wires. Note, the positive side has white dashes along the wire and the negative is solid black. On the receiver cable, harness, identify the positive, which is the red wire, the negative, which is the black wire, the common, which is your yellow wire, and the normally closed, which is your blue wire. Connect the positive from the receiver, which is the red wire, to the positive from the transformer. Connect the negative from the receiver, which is the black wire, to the negative from the transformer. Connect the common from the receiver, which is your yellow wire, to the negative from the power supply. You should now have the normally closed or blue wire free for the next step. Now you can connect the harness to your wireless receiver. Now you must also match the sequence of the dip switches on your receiver to the transmitter so that they can communicate. On the motion sensor cable harness, identify the positive, which is the red wire, the negative, which is the black wire, the normally closed, which is the blue wire, and the common, which is the yellow wire. Connect the positive from the motion sensor, which is the red wire, to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative from the motion sensor, which is your black wire, to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally closed from the motion sensor, which is your blue wire, to the normally closed from the receiver, which is also your blue wire. Now you should have the common or yellow wire free for the next step. Connect the cable harness to the motion sensor. On the key switch, you must now identify the normally closed connector, which is your red wire, and your common connector, which is your blue wire. Connect the common from the motion sensor, which is the yellow wire, to the normally closed or red wire of the key switch. You should now have the common or blue wire on the key switch free for the next step. Connect the piece of wire to the negative terminal of the magnetic lock. Connect the piece of wire to the positive terminal of the magnetic lock. Connect the blue wire from the common terminal of the key switch to the negative wire coming from the magnetic lock.
Connect the wire coming from the positive terminal on the magnetic lock to the positive wire of the power supply. Now you should have a fully operational kit. Plug the power supply and test your circuit. Thanks for watching and until the next time.